Texas is facing a potential public health crisis. A new report shows the number of Texas adults with diabetes is expected to quadruple over the next 30 years. State leaders say it's not only a quality of life problem, but a tremendous expense for Texas taxpayers. Shocking. And I want my colleagues and the public to see what will happen if we don't change behavior if we don't do something now. Um. Healthcare experts are linking the massive spike in diabetes cases to out of control obesity. Fox Force Peter Doubt breaks down the numbers. He's in now live with more on the growing problem. Peter. Steve, doctors and lawmakers say Texas is facing a true diabetes epidemic with very rapid growth of the disease. And if the predictions hold true, the state may not be able to afford the needed health care. Take a deep breath for me. After three years with diabetes, yeah. Krista Bailey is finally free of the disease. So how else has it changed your life? The Dallas mother of three was diagnosed when she was 240 pounds. It's very bad. You can't eat the things that you want, and when you do, you get sick or you have lots of side effects. Now more than 100 pounds lighter, Bailey has made major changes to her lifestyle. I just watch what I eat, and I go to the gym, work out at least three or four times a week. But not everyone's as lucky. Kelly Skipper has been diabetic for the past five years, a difficult disease he says could have been prevented. I was really not taking it, my diet seriously, my working out seriously as I got older. Skipper is one of roughly two million adult Texans with type two diabetes. And listen to this, according to a new report from nonprofits in the state demographer's office, that number is set to quadruple over the next 30 years to nearly eight million. It's just a, a unfathomable amount of people that are going to have it. When Dr. Nirmal Jail Silan started in medicine 15 years ago, very few of his patients were diabetic. Now he says it's one out of three. And I think it's due to nutrition, to uh, activity levels, and they're all shrinking. Part of the problem, the report says, is that Texans are fatter than ever. Right now, 29% of all Texans are considered obese, and in three decades, 43% are expected to be obese. The numbers are only part of the picture. According to the American Diabetes Association, diabetes costs the state more than $12.5 billion a year. The solutions are complicated and come at a cost the state is unlikely to meet in the face of a $25 billion budget hole. We just can't handle it. We won't be able to handle it. Now more careful when it comes to diet and exercise, Skipper's diabetes is under control. You know, learn from me. Don't do what I did. Go ahead and take control of your life and make the smart choice. Right now, diabetes is the sixth leading cause of death in Texas. Head to our website, myfoxdfw.com, for an interactive map that tracks diabetes rates in each Texas county. Peter Doubt, Fox 4 News.